flipped up. Drawers is empty. Um, you know, looks like a tornado hit. Our top story tonight at 6, a veteran demanding answers from the Buffalo Police Department. Officers busted into a home armed with a warrant, but tonight the resident says they had the wrong address. And he also claims not only did police hit the wrong apartment, he claims they killed his dog. Channel 7's Alan Light, live downtown tonight with the latest on this story. Alan? Yeah, Keith, U.S. Army veteran Adam Arroyo says he doesn't do or deal drugs. He doesn't even match the description of the suspect given in the search warrant. Now he's demanding justice for the killing of his dog and for the violation of the freedoms that he served to protect. She's over here, chained up. And look at all these bullet holes, around. Look at the blood right here. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This grisly scene is what Adam Arroyo came home to last night after police raided his Breckenridge apartment, turning it upside down and killing his dog. She was tied up in the kitchen. I got tied up every single day. And they shot her for no reason. Arroyo also found this, a search warrant for 304 Breckenridge Upper Apartment. The suspect, a black male, wanted on suspicion of dealing crack. Arroyo is Hispanic and lives at 304 Breckenridge Upper Rear Apartment with a completely separate entrance and clearly marked on his mailbox. You never used your soul crack this apartment? Never. I don't do drugs. You know what I mean? I'm a United States veteran. I work every day. Um, I'm just trying to live my life. Arroyo is a combat veteran who served in Iraq and plans to join the National Guard, but this incident has left him angry and heartbroken. For police to wrongfully come into my house and murder my dog. It wasn't just they, they felt threatened, though. They murdered my dog. You know what I mean? Like, that was my dog, you know? That was, that was my dog. And they didn't have to do that, you know? They didn't have to do that. Arroyo now has to pay to have his dog, Cindy, cremated and had to repair the door on his own dime. He's also had to miss work, which is why he plans to press charges against the city, seeking justice, even though he knows it won't bring back his beloved dog. She was just a great dog, and I don't think I'll ever find a dog like that dog, ever. Now, he did reach out to Buffalo Police on several occasions for comment. A spokesman would only tell us that Police Commissioner Dan Durenda has ordered an investigation by Internal Affairs. Reporting live downtown tonight, Alan Light, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.